We're at Spearfish High School visiting with their athletic trainer, Jessica Bragg. Jessica, thanks for taking time to visit with us here at Black Hills TV. Yeah, absolutely. It's my pleasure. It's an opportunity I get to talk about my job and uh, athletic trainers as a whole. Sometimes it's kind of a people don't really know what an athletic trainer is. I didn't know until I got to college, so sometimes it's really good to just elaborate on that a little bit more. And uh, yeah, it's happy to be here. And we see you around quite a bit at some of the sports events, even the like football practice. Yeah, I go to all of the practices that I can, um, and I'm here to cover all the sports here at Spearfish High School. Um, I help a little bit with, so Monument Health covers a wide variety of places, so uh, we cover Belfouche, uh, Lee Deadwood, some schools in Wyoming, uh, and then we have a couple people at BH as well that we kind of help with, so I travel to all of the games for football, uh, and then I cover all the practices and home games, home stuff here, and I travel to some of the closer uh, events that we have, so yeah. I'm hired by Monument Health. They contract out a few athletic trainers to go to like the schools that I said before. Um, but this is my second year here. I got my bachelor's degree at the University of Nebraska Kearney. Uh, I was there for four years then. Uh, the program's changed a little bit since then. But so back then it was a four and two type program. So you go to school for four years, you get your bachelor's in athletic training and then you have to go to a master's degree for two years so I went to West Texas A&M to get my master's degree in exercise science after I went to UNK for a couple years or for four years to get my bachelor's degree so I was at um, West Texas A&M for two years I did research there um, I got my master's degree um, I also went down to San Angelo for a year I worked at a big sports medicine clinic there um, and we also treated athletes through Angelo State University um, so we were kind of attached onto there. It was actually a really cool thing. Uh, and then I saw the opportunity to come back here, um, and I kind of took advantage of it. So got to have my chance at a high school setting. Now I work for Monument Health, and uh, it's been really good so far. I really enjoy the staff I work with. Um, and just the opportunity to work with these kids is pretty cool. So it's a completely different setting in a different area, uh, but it's, it's really fun. The kids really make it worth it. So Athletic trainers specialize in the prevention, care, and treatment of orthopedic injuries. Um, and so that kind of encases everything that we do with the athletes um, that we deal with at the high school level, um, at the collegiate level, and then also at the uh, rodeo level that we cover. So we cover all types of rodeos from high school rodeos to professional rodeos in our area. Um, and to some bigger ones like the Black Hill Stock Show and Rodeo, the Belfouche Roundup during the summer. Um, so technically, uh, athletic trainers, along with that setting comes pregame stuff, uh, taping, preparation. So if a kid comes in with a injury, so like ankle sprains, we do a lot of ankle tape jobs, and that's just the prevention side of things. So for pregame stuff, and prevention wise, they come in and they say, so this is the problems that I'm having. Um, this is what feels unstable, this hurts whenever I run. Um, and we can do numerous tape jobs, basically anywhere on the body. Um, and we have a lot of other tools at our disposal to be able to prevent injuries from further damaging um, or hurting the kid or preventing them from doing physical activity. Um, and so that helps them perform better, keep the injury where it's at without making it worse necessarily. Um, and that's the care, and then afterwards we manage it. So we do stuff like physical uh, or some PT, um, and we do exercises, rehabilitative training, balance training, um, and just anything kind of in that wheelhouse to make sure that the athlete themselves is ready for practice, games, um, and then we kind of do some management with that. So if they've got a game at the end of the week, we're more likely to uh, draw them back at the beginning if they have an injury and then work them into things that they can do, preparing them better for the game on Friday or Thursday or Saturday. Um, so that's kind of what we do as well. All right, Jessica, thanks for joining us here on Black Hills TV. You're welcome, it was my pleasure. Thank you very much.